Hey, I'm pretty good. Amber, how you doing, man? Sorry for the late call. Uh, no worries, no worries. Okay. Oh, yeah, same here, man. That's why I'm still on calls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Uh, so I see that you have a, this is a condo that I'm, uh, we've been kind of looking at. We, we've actually been kind of purchasing condos lately in Atlanta. Uh, we're here in yeah. uh, Dallas, Texas. But what yeah, we're yeah. doing is we're taking a lot of those uh, condos and we're just pretty much turning them into short-term rentals. Like, we'll do some uh -huh. Airbnbs and stuff like that. So, in a way, we buy it. I mean, I know that you had said that in order for you to, you know, sell this one, you will have to pretty much get exactly what Zillow or Redfin is asking or what, what their estimate yeah. is. Right. So, we actually uh, we actually do stuff like that. You know, we make it work to where... We uh we give you exactly what you're asking, full price, full estimate. Uh, the way that we'll do it is we'll have to buy it on terms. We just wouldn't be able to pay it, you know, cash. So. So, I mean, if that's the case, then we'll, we'll, we we have another route that we'll probably go. We have different, you know, multiple exit strategies. So, if that one doesn't work, then we'll probably either um, either keep it as a rental, add it to our portfolio, or we prob probably or possibly turn around and just sell or finance it to a, a buyer that want to actually live there. Um, we do what we call, um, we do this a lot. We call it the affordable housing program. <laughs> and basically, we just kind of qualify people in-house to where we don't really, you know, do the credit check thing or nothing like that. People just come in and bring us a down payment and they get, they pay their monthly payments. And as long as they continue to uh, pay their, their payments, we can, you know, we continue to let them stay there. But the minute that right, they right. do stop paying, it's almost like an eviction. Hey, we got to kick you out. We got to put somebody else in here that's going to put a down payment down. But... We've never had that happen, uh, thankfully, but in case that does happen, we do run into that. That's what, you know, that's what we would have to do to protect our lender. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because we want to keep a good, long relationship with our lender. So that's just uh, another way that we could do it um, if we're buying at full retail. So, I mean, I, I mean, would that be something that you're open to? Okay, so the the tenant are they current on the uh, on their payments on their uh, rent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been there fifteen months. He's on a month to month now, but uh, it's kind of framed as a one year lease. But uh, I have a good relationship with him, so we can work something out if we need to. Okay, okay, not a problem. That one is free and clear. We uh, will we have to pay off a loan? No, no, no. no. The house uh, I bought it with cash when I uh, nice. moved in that case, yeah. Nice. Okay, and. Let's just say if we do kind of work something out, I mean, kind of what's your timeline? Like, how soon would you be uh, wanting to make I a move? I would give my tenant a couple uh, leeway. I would say uh, as quick as a month, as long as three months, maybe worth it. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. so give it about a month to three months. Just give the tenant time to kind of find somewhere to move to. Right. Okay. Got you. Got you. That makes sense with me. Okay, and um, I'll just show you, I'll tell you what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at Redfin, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a one bed, one bath, 763 square feet. Correct? Yeah, I'll just, yeah. yeah okay, just... and it, uh, the Redfin estimate is $257,242. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, is that kind of where, like a ballpark number that you're at, as far as the asking price? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds good, man. Now, what we would have to kind of come up with is obviously the down payment and the monthly payment to you, and then 
what type of, uh, you know, term that you're open to giving us. As far as term, I'm talking about the length uh, of the time. So, most cases, we do stuff like this. The least that we do would be between 7 to 10 years. Mm -hmm. So, it's just something that it's something that, that we kind of want to hear. I would want to hear it from you that way so I'll know what type of time we're on, how long you're willing to hold the note. Um, that way we, I can just kind of run my numbers from there. Sounds good with me, man. I'll definitely, uh, you want me to send you an email? Yeah, email to it. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I can get your email. Let me see. What is your email? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, first of all, what's your name? It's Jabs Carter. Jabs Carter? Yes. Yeah. Like Muhammad yeah. Ali's favorite punch. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So that's A R I Y E R at A L U M N I dot I L L I N O I S dot E D U. Yes, that sounds right. Okay. Okay. Got you. That's A R I Y E R at A L U M N I dot I L L I N O I S dot E D U. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right, I'll go ahead and send you an email. Um, just kind of get, just kind of get acquainted with with the numbers. We can play around with them, and then if, if you like it, just let me know, or just kind of give me a counter offer, or it was just see if we can work something out, man. See if we'll be a good fit. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right. Call, perfect, man. No problem. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Just talk the seller into terms, like ten year term. Give me that, like <laughs> what? <laughs>